Hello from Brasson City. How's everybody doing today? So I realized yesterday, after looking at my list of lessons, that I actually... Um, and went directly to shading, and we didn't do shapes. So we're going to do some shapes today. Um, this is going to be a little bit more for the kids. So... Um, what I've got in mind is um, many, many moons ago when there were art shows on um, PBS and, t you know, before it was TLC, before Honey Boo Boo Reality, all that other stuff that it really isn't real. Um, there were a couple of drawing shows that um, they, uh, well, no, before Bob Ross and there was another painter, Alexander. Um, so, um, there's, um, um, the drawing show, the guy did all these wonderful drawings, shapes, forms, uh, it was really cool, and, um, uh, I'm gonna do something based on that memory today, so, uh, we'll be drawing shapes, we'll be drawing, um, and turning that into, um, a bigger drawing using the same sheet of paper. So last couple of lessons I've drawn and um, we've used up the one sheet of paper. And then after that one sheet of paper, um, you know, kind of went through several. So, so now we'll just do one sheet. So let me, uh, let me get things turned around here. All right, there we go. So there's our one sheet and I have a couple pencils here. So today, like I said, it is it is uh, shapes, but we're going to take our shapes as we draw them and put them together into a larger, um, larger drawing. So let me move around here and get readjusted so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Got my pencils. I hope you guys have pencils too. I was going to mention, um, while we're doing all this making art and stuff, if um, if you run out of art supplies, let me let me turn around here for just a second. If you um, run out of art supplies in all this, um, make sure you um, if you can. Uh, support some local businesses. I know there's a few places here in Bryson that sell art supplies. Uh, Ashley Hackshaw has some. Uh, even, uh, believe it or not, even Ingalls has some art supplies. And then, of course, um, ordering online, always a good option. But uh, with all the other online ordering that's going on right now, uh, you may have a problem. Um, you know, it may not come as quickly as you want it to. So that being said, if you can still get out, if you feel comfortable going out, um, you know, definitely support local. Um, but otherwise, um, most of the projects we're going to be doing, this is stuff that, you know, you can get anywhere. Um, you can use anything. It doesn't have to be nice drawing paper. It could be notebook paper. That's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So anyway, back to the paper, back to the important part. So for today's lesson, we're going to draw shapes. And what I'd like for you guys to do is to start off, um, let's turn our paper. We're going to go with a landscape format. So there we go. So landscape versus a portrait. So landscape. And we're going to start off right here in the middle. I want you to draw three squares or rectangles. We'll make this one a rectangle and we'll make this one more square. All right, so there's that. Simple shapes, right? And then now we're gonna draw some circles. We need a circle here, a bigger circle here, and a little bitty circle here. All right, and then next, uh, we're gonna draw a couple, a couple triangles. Let's draw one there. Let's put one here, 
and one here. So, Jennifer Hawk says you can draw on junk mail envelopes. Yes, you can. That's actually pretty cool. Um, you can also draw, um, there were uh, ledger drawings from old ledger paper. So if you have old notes, notebooks, journal pages, uh, you can draw on anything, really. I mean, it's, it's so cool. Um, all right, so I got my squares, I got my circles. So the next thing we want to do, I'm going to start building this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these squares. I'm going to start drawing a few more squares just like this. So you want your squares in between each one here to look like um, as if you could see the rest of it. So we'll put one down here. We'll put one right here like this. And one more over here. Okay, got our squares. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some smaller squares here. Just like that. A couple more smaller squares. Just like that. All right. So as you can see, we're starting to develop our shapes, practicing drawing shapes, but at the same time, um, changing them into um, something a little different, um, kind of mixing it up. So this is one of those, um, if you've ever been somewhere sitting for a long time, and you're like, man, I'm bored, and you just start drawing, that's essentially kind of what we're doing. There's some more triangles over here. Yeah, don't be afraid just to Start drawing. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly like what I've got going on. You can draw however. But all we're doing is practicing drawing shapes, which is good for you think about the shape, then you put it on the paper. You think about it, put it on the paper. And that helps your, again, uh, like with the wire drawing, helps your... Uh, coordination between your mind and your hand and reproducing uh, what you've been thinking about. I'm doing a little shading here. A little bit of shading right here. Just like that. Some more shading. Now I have these two circles up here. So this circle, let's start here. And I'm basically I'm making swirls by keeping as I come up around, coming back to this line. Like that. There we go. And then let's do this. And as you can see, we've stretched out this ellipse around this to make it kind of look like Saturn. Okay. So now we have Saturn. Uh, I think this one needs to look like Jupiter, so let's draw some lines across it. And don't forget, Jupiter has that storm, that red eye. Now, see, you guys thought you were turn tuning in today to get a drawing lesson and then we're going to start talking about astronomy. How does that work, right? <laughs> Here we go. Put a little atmosphere around it just by making some very light, some light marks. There we go. And then over here, let's see here. Let's see if we can make that sort of look like Earth. Not really. There's the moon. That'd be about good. Let me get some more atmosphere. So, as you can see, it looks like it looks like we've got a space station going on here. So, let's turn these little triangles here into some kind of panels. There we go. Over here. 
do the same thing. Maybe a couple more. We'll have it branch out this way. A couple more triangles. All right. <clears throat> So we have these squares. Let's make a few more a few more lines to show how this is connected together. Just like that. All right. So we need let's draw another circle down here. Need another planet. Um, there's Mercury, there's Mars. Mars would be cool. Remember, Mars has its polar ice cap, and then the rest of the planet is red. So let's shade it in because we're we're not using color today, but we'll shade it in. Put a few dark lines. We'll say that that's Mars. We'll limited atmosphere, but just some around it to make it look interesting. All right. Over here, I don't know if those are enough of those little panels. They might be for energy. They might be for communication. But let's make some more right here. Now you're probably wondering how, let's see, let's draw some, another square here, long rectangle and a square right here. Go ahead and let's do a couple more circles. Some mystery planets here. Maybe a moon or two. Let's see another one here. Let's say this one has one ring. There we go. And maybe a moon here. Very good. A little bit more shading. Again, this is great practice for drawing shapes. Um, you can sit and doodle this. Best time to doodle is, like I said, while you're on the phone, while you're watching a movie. You can just sit down and with a sheet of paper and start drawing and let your imagination just go and go and go. All sorts of stuff. Let's see. We need um, over here. Here's this. We'll say this is um, a little spaceport. So here getting ready to dock at our spaceport. We need space shuttle. There we go.
So here's a good question. Does anybody know why the space shuttle's wings are fixed? It goes into space. Why does it have wings? It has these fixed wings. Does anybody remember? That's because when the space shuttle returned to Earth, it was a glider, so after re-entry, it would glide in. And so here's our little space shuttle getting ready to dock. There we go. Just like that. We have a little exhaust coming out here. In space, you can't there's a flame will not burn but they do release compressed air for propulsion so there you go getting ready to dock at our space station all right let's see and then here on this part I'll draw a couple little circles in here Let's put one here too. One over here would be nice. Mix it up. Let's put one, now we're doing circles. Let's put a half of one here like a dome. And of course draw our lines. There we go. Uh, maybe one more here. And of course some shading. All right, so we have a little space station, everything looking nice. Um, something you can do real quick. Let's add a little bit of a like a Milky Way kind of effect, and come through with some lines. Go behind our space station, around our planets, around their atmospheres. Now, if any of you have happen to have a chalkboard and want to do this with chalk that would be awesome because you'd already have a black background and you'd be drawing in white so that would be very awesome if you have that and you want to do it uh, post a picture of it in the comments we'd like to see it we'd like to see what it looks like if you draw this on a chalkboard uh, if you have black paper you can also use chalk pens or a silver sharpie that would also be very awesome. You could use other Sharpies as well. The gold, I think they have a gold and a bronze. That would be very cool. Something else you can order and do this with is uh, something called a scratch board. Scratch board is uh, really cool. It's black and then you use a tool. Um, typically you can use, uh, you can even use a toothpick or one of the uh, like bamboo skewers and you just literally scratch your design in that way so that's pretty cool so <laughs> Michael Henson says hey can uh, I send you some math problems and you draw the answer um, I'll draw that for you right now there you go <laughs> um, actually I probably could we'll see I don't know if it'd be a uh, goodwill hunting moment, but I'm not too bad at math. You have to be kind of good at geometry and a little bit of algebra to be an artist. You really do. All right. So there we go. Um, like I said, feel free to uh, draw and make sure, you know, share your pictures in the comments. Um, tomorrow I'll be back and we're going to draw some people tomorrow um so we'll see what happens with that it'll be a good way to kind of get us moving into some other stuff and then uh again next week we'll do some painting with uh watercolor um so if you have a set of uh, uh everything from the you know old school crayola watercolors all the way up to um, a nice pan of watercolors that'd be nice too uh we'll be doing some painting outside 
Um, good way to get outside and enjoy this uh, weather, nice weather we're starting to have. So anyway, see you all next time. Stay safe.